Damn it, we're running out of time. Our troops need those resources. Damn it, we need to get those supplies in there. Damn it, we're running out of time. Uh, damn, what about the pancakes? No, uh, it just doesn't work. Damn. Jam? No, I don't like jam. It's jammy. Damn it. Well, we've got one thing left. Peanut butter. I'm allergic to peanut butter. I'll, I'll just turn into a giant grapefruit or something. Damn it! 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 Gentlemen, if I may interdict, I've got to say, I listen to your ideas. I listen to all of them. On the left side, on the right side. You know, I'm the middle where shit don't even fly. I never heard someone crap, never! Ever! Not since I was no damn baby! A baby! The way I see it, you've got Jurassic Park on the one hand, and then you've got that theme park game on another. All you gotta do, you just gotta crash that two brothers together! Amalgamate them! Amalgamate them! Simulator games have been around for uh, who knows how long, with Theme Hospital putting you in charge of the ever-decreasing NHS, and Jurassic Park Operation Genesis putting you in charge of, yes, that's right, Jurassic Park. The aim of this game is simple. Breed dinosaurs, attract guests, and make possibly the greatest theme park in the world. It's then your task to keep an eye on the park's funds, and for the love of God, your dinosaurs, as they will, for no apparent reason, fall into a coma. You'll get updates from several different people who are keeping an eye on you and the park, some of which are actually characters from the original film itself. As well as building your park, there are also other tasks to undertake. Once you've completed all of the missions, there's also a Site B mode, which you can just set your dinosaurs loose and watch them breed and graze in the open world. Lovely. Overall, what do we have then? Controversially, I'd have to say, the greatest theme park sim ever made. No expense spared. Mm.